Hey, 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 what's up, kickers? Here we are. So, another little video. My clanmate, Donut Killer DK, asked me to do a big gay owl deck. And I've struggled a little bit because I don't usually use headhunters, especially at that cost. But uh, he's actually quite effective in this challenge if he could be placed correctly. So I thought I would just feature this fella and see if we can't catch ourselves another two quick wins and open up some packs, guys. So the opponent starts out with a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This definitely shouldn't have happened. This match is a bad match. I would say, like, this opponent definitely is not having a super great time right now. Those under-leveled cards. I'm not sure why matchmaking like this happens from time to time. So we're just going to try to go through this as quickly and as painlessly for this fella as possible. And uh, grab that third candy bar over there here. And uh, go on into the next match. Oh, I always feel so horrible when matchmaking like this happens. I always feel so horrible. But cakers, we got to keep spinning that batter and making that cake. So Dago 40, bruv, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully Red Lynx does something about that kind of matchmaking. I don't know. Usually they say it's based on your record. So if it's based on record, I suppose that fella and I could have been running something similar in record style and just got matched up. I'm not too sure. But... Let's see if the next opponent is going to be a little bit more difficult. And we'll uh, get into them packs. We'll showcase this deck right quick. Donut killer testing my skills right here. But I'm sure if I played this deck another run through or two, another run through or two, pardon, I'm with the towel again. Uh, if I played this deck another run through or two, I'd, uh, I probably get a better score. Um, you know, one loss is not what I mean. I mean just uh, an overall score. Get them bars quicker. Uh, get them, uh, you know, get them packs quicker. Get everything all quicker. Let's get it quicker. So our opponent starts out with an Osmo up front, hiding a Randy right behind him. We're going to use that uh, Kenny to go ahead and make that guy ours for a minute so we could take him down. So again, I think we see underleveled cards again. Is this really happening? I feel horrible right now. How does this get to happen? Uh, level 3 Terrence and Philip. Yeah, a little underleveled right now, but those guys are still going to do a, a number to my level 2 epic card there they still gonna do a number get up in there on that Nathan banging away putting the gas out there and that Kyle he's gonna take a candy bar the chickens come in those guys are gonna swarm me pretty good we'll put this Belf out here see if she can't handle it so there we start seeing cards that are a little bit more leveled. So I guess this guy isn't too under level. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I'm just trying to kill this dang Dougie. Dougie. <laughs> Good old Dougie filth, y'all. I loves it. So let's speed everything up with some more boy right quick. And Randy gets taken over with that Kenny that came in. And right now is perfect time for big gay ale. Glitter bombs away. So there you have it, guys. Santa Claus coming out to play. Good game, my friend. Thanks, DK, for the challenge, bruv. Uh, we're definitely going to probably give this deck another spin or two. As I kind of, like I said, as I play around with it a bit, it's a little bit easier to operate. Uh, those five-cost headhunter decks, or I mean five-cost anything deck, really 
I don't know. It gets on me. I could do it, but, you know, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, and a little bit of effort. So as you can see, we're still down on the bottom there. 521 with a 12 and 1, 1346. The big gay Al deck increases the score for Rusty Whore. We'll probably run it again and again and again. This has been a fun challenge. I've ran it a few times today, and each time I've tried to jostle up the deck just a little bit just to make it more fun. But, uh, you know, like I said, I think if I actually spent a little bit of time using these decks, you know, once or twice more than just a single run through, I might actually be able to improve the score with each of these decks. So here we see them cards coming out. Last time we got a gold card. I don't know if we're going to get lucky enough to get another gold card, Cakers. But, you know, I got my fingers. I got my toes. I got my legs and other parts of your body that you can cross-cross. Some parts that you wouldn't imagine being cross-crossed. Everything is crossed right now. Let's try and get those gold people out of these packs again. But I'll be honest, I'll be happy with one or two epics. Red links hook it up. So we're getting them rare cards. That's what we love about this challenge. Rare cards, a few epics here and there if you're lucky. And of course, those materials and those coins. Those are so important. Materials and coins, I love both of them. I can't get enough of them. Red links, give me more materials and coins. But do it in the form of sixth element randy cards give me materials and coins that look exactly like sixth element randy do that if you can do that for me oh man what a day it's gonna be so we're jumping into the last few packs here one more materials pack I'm gonna get some more coins and then two more people packs to rush through so let's see here there's that first epic getting that butters choir boy style and then we see another rare popping through there so let's grab them coins 1750 add them to the bank let's go ahead and rush through here we're gonna get more of these rare cards nice nice big stacks of rare cards today getting those Water is the strongest element. Getting that program stand. Only 61 more program stands to go. We are almost to the halfway point, Cakers. Today has been so fun. I've been having a great time doing this challenge. I hope anybody else out there that's watching this video, anybody else out there not even watching this video, but coincidentally playing that South Park Phone Destroyer, I hope you all are crushing this event today too. There's that next epic Poco Randy, getting that Poco Randy, seeing a lot more rares coming through here, and then we ended off with the pair of stands, STG, and water is the strongest element, so let's jump over into, ooh, another PVP pack, let's open this thing up, give me that, give me that purple, give me that cache, give me that good stuff, yes, the materials, here we go. Getting that Friar Jimmy and Zan Cartman, Nathan, Robin Twerk, Poseidon Stan, Marine Craig, and Freeze Ray. Freeze Ray's a good card, y'all. Y'all should explore it. Let's jump into the deck set up. Let's see what kind of deck we were using this go around. So, of course, you can see the two colors, red and orange. We ran with Astro Butters speeding somebody up on the Death Wish. Amazingly, Randy throwing cocks and slapping people in the face left and right. Poison. For those big groups, you want to knock them down, those ranged people you can't get to, that poison is definitely going to help you out. We spoke about that a little bit earlier this morning, a little bit earlier this afternoon. Uh, added that freeze program. I wasn't really running that fighter today, and that's kind of weird, but uh, we added that uh, protocol, freeze man, right there. Stan with the three energy, freezing everybody on the field. Cyborg Kenny, of course you could take over that person. You get them for about 10 seconds or so. And if you time it right, you know, you could use them to crush a bar, maybe kill a ranged unit. If you time it even more better, you can uh, get them to die right after they do their dirty work for you. Shoot an opponent or three, kill them, and then they get killed themselves. So it's a could be a fair energy trade-off using that four drop. Cyborg Kenny. 
of course you got that war boy twerk in there speeding things up throwing them flaming dildos at people having a good old time dwarf king clyde clutch man right there you need to shut somebody down he's really a walking talking clear card you know they got a person way in the back you can't get to uh they got a big trouble fighter or a big trouble tanky person coming right at you you know that dwarf king clyde's gonna help you out you want to knock down one of them babies that dwarf king clyde's your boy so you get them terrence and philip again that's the staple that's the people who hold the paper together right there if not for terrence and philip challenge mode might not be as exciting and of course in this challenge mode with the range fighters dealing half damage but uh you know getting twice the range at nathan right there man right at the new kid he could just keep throwing bombs at the other new kid so if they don't got an answer you can keep them protected just all match long nathan throwing bombs at new kid and then of course at uh bga glitter bombs a plenty Tried to put him in there right as the second bar was about to go down. You put him in just before that last hit or two right up in the center. And uh, he kind of finishes off that third bar. Big Gay Al was pretty fun to use. Again, Donut Killer, I appreciate you asking me, encouraging me, getting me out there using that Big Gay Al in this deck. There you see that Bounty Hunter Kyle adding those attack points to people who are half attack. All of your range people getting all them extra bonuses as Kyle's shooting stuff, getting them extra heals as he's killing things, it's just making them range people that much more effective in this challenge. Of course, Blood Elf Bebe right there in the corner. She's the gal who sucks up the chickens. Now in this mode, she needs to hit them once or twice more than she usually does. So that Zap Cannon and a Bebe, you know, maybe pair with a BHK and a Zap Cannon and a Bebe. That way you can get ahead of them chickens. But uh, you can make her pretty beefy. Anyway, guys, cakers, this was a fun one. We're going to get something to drink. We're going to twist up a towel. We're going to get back into Don't Forget Your Towel Land. Wesley Pipes coming on out, bringing out the bong loads. It's going to be a good time. Uh, cakers, y'all should join me someday. Keep smoking, y'all. We'll see you on the flip side. Don't forget to click that like and that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content. If you enjoyed watching the video, I appreciate all this support so far. My cake family, I'll see you on the flip side. Y'all keep smoking. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. 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 Peace.